What is up, YouTube? This is Yaxis here, and on the screen right now, you're seeing some Halo 4 uh, um, Abandoned Team. Oh, I'm sorry, Team uh, Infinity Slayer. Not Team, what am I saying? Anyways, um, the gameplay I use a sniper uh, for about half the game. I do fairly well with it, I usually do terrible with it, um, but like snipes like that that I just got. I do manage to luck out on most of them, and so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Anyways, the commentary topic I want to talk about is actually also about doubles. Um, there are a couple of things that have been annoying me slightly, and I do have um, a couple of solutions that uh, I could offer to fix them. So first off, um, this is a one that I really don't know how to fix because Infinity Slayer is probably one of the most unbalanced game types in this playlist actually and mostly in Halo 4. Infinity Slayer is really good for casual in my opinion and also Infinity Rumble but it should not be associated with playlists that have competitive ranks which is unfortunately all of the playlists but because there is no social and ranked playlist they're like all ranked. Um, but uh, definitely Infinity Slayer should be taken out from team doubles and uh, it's only good for like the game types where you're just like playing for fun and uh, like big team slayer and things like that like big team infinity I don't really have a problem because there's no way you could really get competitive on that too and it's just a nice way to have a lot of fun while you're doing it but game types like team doubles where you're actually going for the win at least that's what I do most of the time unless I'm pub stomping um, is uh, it pretty frustrating actually to run into infinity slayer so for example that uh, brings me to my next point uh, some armor abilities like the jetpack are pretty overpowered. Now you might be thinking, well, the jetpack, it just exposes you to greater areas, so there it's kind of like a disadvantage, right? Well, actually, about 80% of the time I have found, it gives the other player height advantage, and usually I will, I'm not expecting that, and they still manage to out the army. And the frustrating part about this is that they, you know that they're, the, that other player is not more skilled than you they just have a definite advantage because of their armor abilities. Another armor ability that is slightly overpowered is Active Camo because although it has received a nerf um, a couple of months ago, uh, you can it's really still really hard to pick out. The only uh, part I like about Active Camo is that it makes you you can see them on the radar like there's a whole bunch of these blue dots so crouching is actually a little bit better than using Active Camo. And third, this one is not really that overpowered, just a little bit overpowered for competitive play. It's Promethean Vision, because what this allows you to do is see exactly where the enemy is, even if they're like usually halfway across the map. If they're crouching around the corner, you can see them, you'll know where they are, you'll spoil their plan. Now, the only downside to using Promethean Vision is that it'll actually give out like a, kind of like a... Uh, red ring kind of thing around the radar so you can know that someone's using Promethean Vision but that's pretty much the only downside to using Promethean Vision. So also in um, Thruster Pack is actually a really nice armor ability I don't really think they should take it out but what they could do to fix some of the overpowered armor abilities is either make it that there's only armor abilities like that spawn on the map or take out uh, all the armor abilities all the armor abilities, sorry I can't really talk today, I don't know why, um, like in Halo 3. But um, some people in ha who like Halo 4 would probably prefer to have some of the armor abilities, but I'm, no one really likes jetpack and active camo, and some don't even like Promethean Vision. So if they took them out or made them only available on the map, uh, that would be pretty balanced, and I think if no one started out with armor abilities and you could only find them on the map like Halo 3, then that would be um, a pretty good balance for team doubles in Halo 4. Anyways, this commentary is coming to a close. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment, and even subscribe if you want to see more Halo 4 or Battlefield 4. Um, I might post a Minecraft video soon, but anyways, I'll see you guys later. This is the Axis. Peace out.